All right, so welcome back to our uh, series on particle effects in Pixel Mesh, where we're taking this image and uh, let's see if I can find it here. We are creating this animation with it. So we're playing around with the image by adding in some particle effects to uh, try to give it some life. And I'm no artist, I'm a programmer, but um, I'm able to create at least some sense of this and, and you can do a much better job, I'm sure, to make it look even, even nicer. But uh, we've had fun playing with this. And this image we did not create ourselves. This is an image by the artist Trixie who has released this, both this image and a tile set uh, for free or for whatever you want to contribute at trixelize.itch.io. So thank you to Trixie. And apologies for messing up your art with my particle effects, but hopefully uh, people can get the point and then create something beautiful. So uh, let's bring in our preview here and we'll turn on the mist effect, which is what we're looking at in particular this time around. All right, let's turn these particles back on as well. Okay, so uh, the first thing you'll actually notice here is that this uh, preview is running a little slow. And the reason for that is that when you, is that pixel particles in pixel mesh, uh, their calculations are based on their area. And since these are super large particles for the mist, each one of these particles covers a lot of screen real estate, they actually take a lot longer to calculate, but it doesn't matter much. It's only in the preview. Uh, when you export it, it will be perfectly fine. But if your preview is running slow, that's why it's because these super large particles are taking a little longer to calculate. Um, so let's uh, focus in on one set of mist here and take a look at what we've got going on. So uh, once again, the outer layer, we've got our color key masking going on for each of these. And we've done three separate sets because we want them to have um, slightly different area. Uh, let me turn these back on for a second. We want me to have slightly different areas that they're operating in. So some of them will go behind the trees, some will go in front, that sort of thing. Um, just to give it a little bit more life and variation. So we've got three sets of mist with three different masks that are basically the same but slightly different and uh, very similar particle effects. So we'll look at one in particular here. Uh, this one, which is much more uh, dense because we've got a lot more uh, number of particles uh, going on in this layer. So let's take a look. Here's our particle effect. Um, once again, we have drawn a mist uh, element. Let me turn off the particles and you'll see it. This, this is our, uh, let me pull this over. This is our actual particle for this layer. It's just that little blob there down in the corner. The reason it's all the way to the side is because these particles are flowing left to right and we want them to start from all the way over here. Um, and it's not visible in the image because it's masked out over there, but obviously it becomes visible as it moves in to where the masking is visible. Um, okay, so that's our particle and we've got a whole bunch of them. We've got 50 coming out per second in a stream from uh, over here on the left. And that's why it looks quite solid um, because there are so many particles at once. And once again, we have no emission randomness and our start time is minus 10 because we give it 10 seconds of, of spin up basically before the animation starts going. And the reason for that is so that it fills out the whole uh, animation before it even starts. Uh, otherwise you would see the particles starting to move from left to right as the animation starts. And that's not what we want. We want it to be already filled in with particles. Um, and our random seed is three. We've just chosen a different random seed for each set of particles so that there's nothing uh, in common about them because we started with the same thing and then copied and pasted it three times for the different layers. And so we wanna make sure they're different from each other. All right, and so here we've just got simple motion to the right. We've set the direction to the right and we set a speed of 50 pixels per second. And these are actually all flowing about the same. We're not even using any randomness in that area. 
um, no rotation necessary, no scaling necessary. And most of the uh, interesting movement here is happening actually in the wobble. So uh, if I set the wobble speed to zero, it completely disappears because it's actually still in the bottom corner and then moving along uh, the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure if we'll even be able to, yeah, I can't show you that easily. Um, but all of the action is happening in the wobble. And the way to think of wobble is basically movement uh, perpendicular to the direction that the particle is moving in. So the particle is moving left to right, so wobble will be up and down. Right, and it's just oscillating up and down over and over again within the width and at the current speed. And then the randomness determines um, where along that spot each one starts. This might actually look interesting if we, yeah, so you can see that they're always coming up and down at the exact same spots. And that's why uh, with no randomness, you get exactly the same thing. So we want them all to come up and down. Oops, that's flicker. We want them all to come up and down at different points which is what we're doing here. So we get that nice uh, flowing feeling to the particles. And let's turn on another one so we can see this effect. So this is the same thing, but with fewer particles. And you can see each one kind of moving up and down in its lane, doing its own thing. And we're not animating the opacity. Again, we've set the opacity out here on the mask layer. Um, Along with the along with the mask, we've set the opacity so that the uh, so that the fog is see through the mist, and that's it for the mist effect in Pixel Mesh. And uh, once again, uh, based on artwork by Trixie, Trixelize.itch.io, and thanks for watching.